tears been running like a waterfall thought the stars would never let you down and you keep on thinking you can save yourself but that's love that's just love you should know some things will hurt In the dry we have slicks, in the wet uh, we have uh, cutted slicks, let's say. Uh, we don't have the intermediate tire, like uh, for the roofs, so we cannot use the tires in between the full wet and the full dry. But uh, it's not really necessary, actually. I mean, the most important thing is the, the rubber. In the end, you know, on the wet tires it's much, much more soft. So also in the cold wet condition the tire can generate more heat. I think this is something of the most important thing. Uh, yeah, and the biggest difference between the dry and the wet type. Perfect. And both. <laughs> Is this good for you? <laughs> Do you think the same? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank now. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yes, normally you make a strategy with your, with your crew. Uh, especially with the coach uh, before the weekend starts. So it depends a lot about also the weather condition. For example, this weekend in Saxony it's really hot. Looks like that in the morning will be important to set a good lap time. So in FP1 and FP3 to be in the top 14. So. We will still be high Here in our team, actually, it's, uh, I mean, the responsibility for the tires in the team, it's always like, you know, uh, the crew chief, the rider have to make decisions, but it's uh, one guy for all the team, from both of us. He's um, working with the tires. It's uh, a very important job, actually. He has to check always the, the balance of the tires, you know, the tire, if they are new fitted, they can be a little bit out of balance. This is something very important to not get any vibrations on the bike. So. He's quite in stress always in the, over the weekend, David. So, uh, because he needs to do a very, very good job. Especially when we come both at the same time inside the pits, it's a stressful job. He's, uh, yeah, he's getting a little bit on the limit yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Still be up, still be up, don't
don't care about the place we found. We'll still be up, still be up. It's only bad memories. It's <laughs> <laughs> not funny. <laughs> it's it's quite. I I don't have a special point to a good a good remember on the tire is like generally mostly when when we have some soft tires for the qualifying for example so you have very good grip you can use a lot of throttle in a lot of banking and it is quite fun yes yes it's the the best feeling you can get when you know you have the soft tire and you can improve like half a second just because of the tire uh, but also you get a bit nervous because you know you have to do a much better lap time but in the end it's uh, this is the good point with the with the tire and the opposite is the, the hard tires, for sure. Yes, yes. <laughs> when you need to manage, you have a little bit hard tires, but you know, okay, you can do all the distance for the race, it's not a problem, but you need to manage the throttle. Throttle control is much more important, and this makes the riding uh, more difficult. My expectations for this weekend, uh, it's hopefully continue the line from Barcelona. Uh, we make a good job there. Uh, the most important is to do the same job, the same way of working, and then uh, we will see the results. In Moto2 it's really hard to, to know the results before the weekend because it's so close. So we have to push hard and let's see where we can finish. For me, um, it's uh, very important to improve our position. To I think we could make a step forward in uh, Catalonia. This was positive, but now we need to keep on working on that. Follow this line. Keep on pushing, keep on working hard, and this is what we what we are going to do this week. Great, thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Good. Segundo. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Eduardo Perales. Sure, you everyone know my name. Uh, I'm the owner of the of the team uh, with my partner Eva Rovira. She uh, is not in the team right now because she takes care about the accounting. Uh, I'm in charge about uh, everything from on talk to the riders until negotiate with the sponsor. Uh, this weekend we are talking about uh, the important things about the, the dual lock tires. No? This is the decision normally is made by, by the, the riders in consent with the chef mechanic. And it's not easy because you need to manage very well because we don't have enough tire because you are limited number from tire for everyone. This is the good thing for Moto2 is limited number of tire. This means that the rich, very rich team cannot spend 12 sets. Then you have limited tire that we need to manage all the weekend and sometimes. For example now Bob uh, don't have uh, tires to to improve in the to change the tire in the second qualifying and he, he need to keep stay in the track with the same tire. This is the little bit disadvantage but in the end you need to manage as well the all the weekend no uh, it's super important the tires because uh, it's the first thing touch on the floor then is uh, we have some sensor to check the press to check the temperature but in the end is the rider feeling because as you know all the tire even is the same week uh, the, for the fabrication everything is not exactly the same uh, then you need to find a good compromise between the tire and the suspensions to allow the rider feel very comfortable and make a very very good race with uh, with the, the tire he choose
Hello, I'm the lead the direct technician from Retamina Mandarica SAC Racing Team and I'm going to explain you a bit with my job. It consists to talk with my crew chiefs and decide the ball and pressures and all about the tires of the Moto2 Championship. First day we go to Dunlop and try to decide which are the best tires and try to organize them. Then we talk with the crew chief. We decide about our data of the tires that we have and the compost and we reorganize them. So then next day we bring all the briefs to Dunlop to fit them. We check that the fit is okay and the balance is good. So we prepare them for the next day. That the only thing that we have to do is to warm them and put the right pressure. The favorite part of the I think that this working here, in this world, like small circles, say like this. We are not too much people, so like a privilege to work here. What is I'm always the worst thing is to choose the race style because it's really difficult. It's your responsibility. Uh -huh. So we try to check it with the crew chief, but finally the responsibility is mine. <laughs>